and welcome to Kruger National Park and our top tips for people visiting Kruger for the first time or even novice game viewers. We hope this video will uh, teach you something and make your visit and game viewing experience a more interesting and more fun. So top tip number one, take it slow, relax. The slower you drive, the more you will see. We've been told optimum um, speed is 20 kilometers an hour. We do drive slightly faster, maybe 30. The speed limit in Kruger is anyway 50 kilometers an hour, so don't rush. By driving slower, you will see more, you will notice more, and you'll have more fun. It might be difficult for some drivers. Okay, next tip is, and this is a difficult one, don't rush and just look for the big five, the lions. Uh, elephants appreciate everything the smallest things can be as much fun as the very very big ones sorry we're just stopping at a site I think it's only kudus yeah what do you mean only kudus kudus are fantastic I thought I saw a what a lion lying yeah but it's it's, so a, oh, it's, it's a, only a rock yeah, so, yeah, yeah another tip you will sometimes see a rock or a Hello. Hello. Hi. And yes, sorry, um, another tip is always be friendly with your fellow game viewers. Wave, smile, chat to them. They can be a source of valuable information. They can point you towards a nice sighting. Um, a lot of people here in Kruger seem to find it strange, but keep doing it. Spread the good vibes and it could be to your benefit and you could get some information from them. They could tell you about a sighting they could give you some information. And my third tip, this is actually Karin's tip. When you arrive in a camp and you can afford it, it's good to do a paid game drive right in the beginning so that you can get an idea of what the professionals do, where they go, what they see, the lay of the land, which routes you should be driving, because that will mean that next time you drive to your own game drive, you will know where to go. I've got another tip. Um, it's been extremely hot um, the past what, three, four days. Lifetime. Um, five days. So if you arrive at a new campsite, first drive through the campsite, and then you can also see where all the ablutions and everything is, and then make your decision where you're going to camp for seven days tip for, another tip for the day is be polite at the viewings and give each other a turn so you'll see there's quite a bit of a crowd here at the moment so we're going to try and get out yeah. Yeah. okay yeah so let's see let's be polite and, and move along don't hang too long at a sighting in kruger you must always watch out for elephant crossings sometimes they hesitate to cross you have to be a bit patient and give them a bit of time and space because they are slightly bigger than your car. Some of them. Some of them are very small in, in elephant terms. Okay, I see teeth. Mm. We see, currently see, we see a few tusks and a few, a few um, okay, really small movement. trunks. Now, yeah, yeah, and here's a potential crossing. The babies are always shielded by the bigger ones. Yeah. So it's very difficult actually to take pictures of them because there's always big ones between you and the babies. And you don't want to mess with a mother elephant. So after surviving the elephant crossing, a uh, tip for today is if you're a novice game uh, viewer, bird watcher or a uh, first time visitor to Kruger, uh, do some research. We bought this very handy map and didn't read all of it, but the more of it you read, the better your game viewing experience and your visit to Kruger would be. Um, especially the, area, area, the different areas of Kruger, what to expect. And then obviously you can mark off what you've seen birds reptiles mammals 
predators. So watch, watch the other people in the cars, what they are looking for. Sometimes they are looking for something, but sometimes they see something. Yeah. Um, so that's my tip after the elephant crossing. And our next um, tips for visiting Kruger or game bearing is about equipment. You obviously need binoculars, a camera, uh, that goes without saying, and then a few other things to have in the car with you. Remember to always have snacks with you because you, you can't always get out and fetch it. You need some toilet paper and more importantly you need a little plastic bag for if you have to go in the felt to put your toilet paper in so you don't leave it in the felt which we've noticed in Kruger some people do. If you're traveling in more than one vehicle, we would recommend two-way radios so that you can communicate because there isn't always cell phone reception. There's always reception in the campsites, but not outside of the campsites. And then, Karin, for what was your total, what was uh, your we equipment were, that you need for when you're in your campsite? Uh, we were talking about uh, pool noodles. Oh uh, yes. They're uh, actually quite versatile, hanging in the pool and some people also put it on the window for the camera to rest on. Um, and then the other thing is if you go in the summer you need a fan. And and or a mist. A yeah. fan for the evening schools. It's quite humid sometimes. Yeah, yeah if you visit between um, November and March, it's hot, damn hot. We're here for the month of November and it's been hot about 60% oh. of the time. Oh, and then also maybe an umbrella. Um, for the sun, because the hat doesn't really cover it and then it also sometimes rains very really hard. Yeah. So and the umbrella is small. Yeah, we've noticed that the, the professionals bring an umbrella. People that have come here regularly and some of the staff. So an umbrella as well. And the next step is well about gathering information. Just arrived at the Toba campsite and another thing to do is to make friends with your neighbors. Chat to them. Um, give them a smile and they can again be a valuable source of information. Tell you what they've seen. If they're old hands, then um, they could give you some general tips about game viewing. We met great guys at Kakuza, uh, specifically Gert de Koker. I will put his link on his website uh, here. Um, if you like um, predators, he specializes in predators. So yeah, make friends with your neighbors, get some information from them. And the next tip is for the drivers on a game drive. So if you're behind the wheel, as Jim Morrison said, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel be surprised what small interesting things you'll find on the road and you will not drive over them. Um, we found a poor little chameleon the other day that somebody else has driven over. So be careful and you will be surprised what you find on the road. And our last tip for visiting Kruger for those that are budget conscious. Um, sand parks are on special so you can come and camp uh, for the whole of November and get 50% off all your camping and accommodation. And if, a wild, if you have a wild card then your daily conservation fee is already paid up. And then um, diesel and petrol is one of your biggest expenses in the park. There's two places in the south of the park at Kumati Poort and at Mbobelo where you can get discount diesel. So if you time it with a nice game drive it's only 10 k's out of the park to get discount diesel. That can save you quite a bit of money at the, as the price of fuel keeps going up. Hope it'll help you save a few bucks and enjoy your visit to Kruger National Park. We hope these tips will make your game viewing and visit to Kruger National Park fun and exciting. We have many more videos coming, including two videos about what it's like to stay in Kruger National Park for a month. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.